Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, an inspiration that will never shed. Little did Jainul Abdeen and Aishima know that their son would grow up to be the first citizen of India. Dr. Avul Pakir Jainul Abdeen Abdul Kalam was born to the couple on 15th October 1931 at Danish Kudi in Rameshwaram district of Tamil Nadu. He did his high secondary education at Schwartz High School in Ramanathapuram, his BSc at St. Joseph's College, Trichy, and his DMIT in Aeronautical Engineering at Madras Institute of Technology, MIT in Chennai, and then Madras during 1954-57. After passing out as a graduate aeronautical engineer, Kalam joined Hindustan Aeronautics Limited Bangalore as a trainee, and later he joined as a technical assistant in the Directorate of Technical Development and Production of the Ministry of Defense, DRDO. In 1960s, Kalam joined the Vikram Sarabhai Space Research Center at Tumba in Kerala. He played a key role in developing the first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, SLV, in 1982, he rejoined DRDO as the director and conceived the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, which is the IGNDP, for five indigenous missiles, NAG, Prithvi, Akash, Prashur, and Akni. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam has established an advanced technology research center called Research Center IMAT. To understand development in futuristic missile technology areas, it was perhaps the most satisfying achievement for Kalam during his missile years. He was responsible for numerous projects such as Project Devil, Project Valiant and launch of the Roshni-1 besides developing missiles under the missions of me and Prithi. For the same, he was popularly tagged as the missile man of India. Dr. Kalam has also served as principal scientific advisor to the government of India during 25th November 1999 till 10th November 2001. Later, he quit the job and took over the job as distinguished professor at Anna University. On 25th July 2002, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was sworn in as the 12th President of India by then Chief Justice of India B.N. Krupal in the Central Hall of Parliament at an impressive function which was telecasted live across the country. Dr. Kalam took the oath in the name of God as a 21-gun salute boomed in the background. Dr. Kalam, a bachelor, a connoisseur of classical Carnatic music, he used to play Veena in his leisure. He wrote poetry in Tamil, his mother tongue. Seventeen of his poems were translated into English and published in 1994 as a book entitled My Journey. He read the Quran and the Bhagavad Gita with equal devotion. His books, Wings of Fire and an Autobiography and Ignited Minds won many million heart and still motivates a lot more. Dr. Kalam is by no means a miracle man. His advice to the youngsters 
of the nation is to dream, dream and convert these into thoughts and later into actions. He often used to ask his countrymen to think big. We are a nation of billion people and we must think like a nation of a billion people. Only then we can become big. Kala was honored with great laurels and awards for his work by both the government of India and other countries. After completing his term as president, Kalam served as a visiting professor in various esteemed institutes and universities of India. Kalam was a proud recipient of Patma Bhushan, Patma Vibhushan and Bharat Ratna awards from the government of India. He received the same in the years of 1981, 1990 and 1997 respectively. In 1997, he was honored by the government of India with the Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration. Later, the next year, he was awarded the Veer Savakar Award by the Government of India. The Alvars Research Center Chennai bestowed Kalam with Ramanujan Award in the year 2000. Kalam was honored with the King Charles II Medal by the Royal Society UK in 2007. The California Institute of Technology USA presented Kalam with the International Von Karman Wings Award in the year 2009. The same year, he won the Hoar Medal by ASME Foundation USA. The IEEE honored Kalam with IEEE honorary membership in 2011. Kalam was a proud recipient of honorary doctorates from 40 universities. In addition to this, Kalam's 79th birthday was recognized as World Students' Day by United Nations. He was nominated for the MTV Youth Icon for the Year Award in 2003 and in 2006 respectively. The Black Day finally approached the Great Son of the Nation on 27 July when Dr. Abdul Kalam was admitted to the Bethany Hospital, Shillong, Meghalaya. And that was due to heart failure after having collapsed during a lecture at the Indian Institute of Management, Shillong. Yes, the missile man of India, he passed away. But yes, he will still remain in our hearts forever. We salute you, sir, and we will miss you forever.